pleased to bring to you someone who understands what needs to happen in that office, our own District Attorney Raul Torres. So I want to thank uh, I want to thank everyone who's here today, and and for all of the all the groups and all the advocates, people who have committed themselves to reducing violence against women and children, to eliminating sexual assault, to making sure that we're held accountable. Um, I want you to understand that the district attorney's office here in Bernalillo County is going to make it the highest priority to move through these cases and give survivors and give victims the decency and the respect that they deserve when they come into the criminal justice system. For, for far too long, we have, we have deferred um, hard and difficult choices about how we prioritize cases within the system, within this office, um, and right now, we have more than 1,100 violent crime cases currently that have been referred to that office and haven't been charged or reviewed for indictment. There are over 400 child abuse cases in the same situation. And it is absolutely unacceptable to me and unacceptable to the leaders of that office that we are not able to provide adequate justice for survivors because I understand how hard it is to come forward. And I know how hard it is for people to share what is probably the most traumatic event in their lives and give, and give themselves over to a criminal justice system that oftentimes fails to adequately represent them or serve their needs. So one of the things that we're gonna be doing in the Bernalillo County DA's office, now that we've cleared out all of those boxes that I think everybody's seen on the news for the past few weeks, we have opened the doors of the district attorney's office to every single outside advocacy group who is willing to come and dedicate their time, their passion, their energy to be a voice for victims, to come inside that office and help us serve this community. And so the challenge I have for everyone here today is to think about what you can do as a member of this community, as someone who cares about these issues, what can you do to help us give justice to people who need it the most. This is an opportunity for us, I think, to come together and build a brighter future and something different. And, you know, I heard Jim mention that this is the first annual event like this and that he hopes to, hopes to do it again in the future. My, my hope is exactly the opposite. My hope is to build a world where one day my little girl doesn't have to come to a rally like this because violence against women and violence against children is so unacceptable and so unrecognizable in our community that we never have to do this again. So thank you for your support, thank you for your work, and we're here to fight for you.